so hi everyone today we are back with another interesting tutorial on model context protocol and this time i would be connecting my google calendar with cloud ai and let it schedule events for me fetch information delete events etc so let's get started before i tell you the whole process let me show you a demonstration on how it works so here you can see that i have opened my cloud ai desktop application and if you have connected your mcp well you can see all the calendar events under the hammer sign create event delete event list events etc so let's get started let me provide the command to create an event for tomorrow create a calendar event for 5th of april 11 pm ist the name should be mcp testing so as you can see that i am creating an event at 5th of april 11 pm ist the name should be mcp testing this will require you to provide some access initially. It has started running. Allow for this chat. As you can see, it is able to schedule an event at April 5th, 11 p.m. The event is scheduled for 30 minutes. I missed to mention this. And here you can see this is the event that has been scheduled. 11 p.m. IST MCP testing as you can see in my screen now let me ask you to reschedule this event fetch all the events scheduled for April 5th from my calendar now it will be able to get all the information about my tomorrow's day you need to provide access Now for tomorrow, I have a couple of events uh, at MCP testing at 1.30 a.m. and 11 p.m. as well. So this is how you can create an event. You can delete an event. Let me try deleting as well. Delete all the events from my calendar for tomorrow named MCP testing. So let's try it out and then finally we will jump on to how to use this particular MCP and connect with Cloud AI. It is still running. I have successfully deleted both the events from your calendar. Now, if you look back, the event is gone. So this looks to be a very interesting connect. And I hope this is useful for you to managing your day. So first of all, let's jump on to understanding what are the things that we need to do. This is a little complicated compared to the other MCPs that we have done because you need to have a G Suite account, create a project there and get OAuth tokens as well. So I'll be explaining everything. No worries. So the GitHub repo that I'm using is uh, Rishi Pratip Think 41 G Suit hyphen MCP because this is the only one working with Windows. For Mac OS or Linux, the other repos might be working, but for Windows, this is the only one working for us. And these are the, all the tools present: Calendar and Gmail tools. So first of all, you need to go to your Google Cloud console. We'll be going there. Now, once you have landed, you need to create a new project. For me, this is the project that is working here. You are working in MCP testing. Just open this up. Go to API and services. Now in API and services, do add calendar as well as search for here and search for Google calendar. Google calendar API. And as you can see, API is enabled. If it is not enabled, you need to enable from here, right? Because if you're creating a new project, you need to enable this. Once you have enabled it, you need to go to credentials here and go for create credentials. Go here, OAuth client ID. Here, the application has to be web application because you would be accessing it from Cloud AI desktop application. And in authorized redirected URIs, you need to mention this particular thing. So in add URI, you need to mention this localhost command that is localhost colon 4100 forward slash code and add URI. Once done, as you would be able to see, I have just censored the client ID and client secret ID from you so that you won't be able to see this. 
so once you've got this just do remember that this would be something that we would require so once you go to credentials here you can see that your credentials are now present here we would require this so whenever you need to do this just click on download oauth client and you should be able to see your client id and secret id now once your project is set up and you have enabled google calendar api key next steps are quite easy you then need to do two things one is to git clone this particular repo or if you don't want to git clone here are commands present here clone and install right after cloning and installing you need to run this particular command internally node get for uh, hyphen refresh hyphen token dot js this file is present inside this particular repo once you run this it will redirect you to google chrome and it will ask you for certain permissions you need to provide all the permissions so that the application that you have created should get access to your calendar and gmail account right once you are done you need to run this particular command npx minus y smidgery cli install this particular mcp and client is cloud once you do it it would require you to enter five things one is your client id then client secret it would also ask you to uh, enter your refreshed token so where does this refresh token go once you will run this particular command node get refresh token a token.js file json file would get saved in the repo inside so from there you can get your to refresh token that the this particular installation will require apart from that you need to provide your redirected uris as well so these are the four things you would it would ask you to enter manually and once you are done rest of the things are same once this gets installed and a new mcp server gets installed in your cloud server automatically once you're installing using smidgery right and here is the config for google client id and all that stuff is present here that i've blurred for you now once done you need to refresh you need to go to task manager close cloud and once you relaunch it you should be able to see the application present there the mcp server tools i hope this was useful and you are able to connect google calendar with your cloud api thank you so much